Hi there, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on surface area of cones. What you'll learn today, two things, hopefully. First, how to find the lateral area of cones. And secondly, how to use the formula to find the surface area of cones. So lateral area and surface area will be what you'll learn today with cones. And if we go to the bottom of our page with the real world link, Bobby is making waffle cones from scratch. Yummy. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the slant height L of the cone if the radius is 2 inches and the height is 6 inches. Round to the nearest tenth. Well, the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And remember, your legs A and B are around your right angle, so A and B and your hypotenuse C is across from the right angle. And so when we make our substitutions in, we'll have 6 squared plus 2 squared equals, and we'll just change this to L squared, 6 squared, 36. 2 squared, 4 equals L squared. 36 plus 4 is 40 equals L squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, our result will be 6.32 and a bunch of other decimals will equal our L. And if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, our solution will be 6 and 3 tenths inches since that 2 in the hundredth spot will not round the 3 up. Our first key concept is lateral area of cone. The lateral area, LA, of a cone is pi times the radius times the slant height. It's simply pi r l. And the reason the lateral area of a cone is one half the circumference of the base times the slant height. And so we're looking at the circumference of the base, which is 2 pi r, but 1 half times 2 is just 1, which is why it just becomes pi r l. And so if we look at our guided example, find the lateral area of the cone and round to the nearest tenth, LA equals pi R L. Your radius is 5, and that's where the 5 comes in, and your slant height is 13, that's where the 13 comes in. Multiply the 3 together, round to the nearest tenth, and you get 204 and 2 tenths square millimeters. Now let's see if we can do these on our own, if we've got it. For example, A. Find the lateral area of a cone with the radius of 4 inches and a slant height of 9 and 5 tenths or 9 and a half inches round to the nearest tenth. We'll, we'll start this with our formula, especially since it's a new formula. LA is going to equal pi r l. And so this will equal, for pi we'll use 3.14 still, times our radius of 4 times our slant height of 9 and 5 tenths. And when we multiply these three numbers together, our result is 119 and 32 hundredths. And when we look to round this to the nearest tenth, the 2 is not going to round the 3 up, so it's simply 119 and 3 tenths, which we can write for answer A, 119 and 3 tenths, inches squared. And that's our example A. What ex about example B? Find the lateral area of a cone with a diameter of 16 centimeters and a slant height of 10 centimeters, round to the nearest tenth. And this is where reading really comes in handy. Being able to pick this apart, diameter of 16 inches means that we're going to have a radius here of 8 centimeters. 
So diameter of 16 centimeters means we're going to have a radius of 8 centimeters. And so we can still use then the same formula. Lateral area is going to equal pi times r times the slant height, which means 3.14 times the radius of 8 times your slant height of 10. And when you multiply these together, your result is 251 and 2 tenths. And so we can go down to B and fill in 251 and 2 tenths inches squared. Now, that's part one of the lesson. The second part is surface area of a cone. And so the surface area SA of a cone with a slant height L and a radius R is the lateral area plus the area of the base. Makes sense. Find the lateral area, add in the area of the base, which is a circle. So the pi R L for the lateral area plus pi R squared for the area of the circular base. You can find the surface area of a cone using a net. The surface area of a cone is the sum of its lateral area and the area of its base. And so we have the lateral area and the base. This part is our pi r l. This part is our pi r squared. So find the surface area of the cone and round to the nearest tenth. Surface area equals the lateral area, pi r l, plus the area of the base, pi r squared. Make your substitutions in, round to the nearest tenth, and you get 230 and 0 tenths square inches. And so now if we try this example C on our own, Surface area equals pi r l plus pi r squared. And so, as we look to make our substitutions in now, pi is going to be 3.14. The radius is 4.5, or 4 and 5 tenths and my slant height is 20, plus pi 3.14 times the radius 4.5 squared. Well, if I take the 3.14 times 4.5 times 20, that is 282 and 6 tenths, and then my 3.14 times 4 and 5 tenths squared is 63 and 585 thousandths. When I add these numbers together, it's 346 and 185 thousandths. And when I round this to the nearest tenth, that 8 is going to round the 1 up for a result of 346 and two-tenths millimeters squared. And now in our last real world example here, a teepee has a radius of 5 feet and a slant height of 12 feet. Find the lateral area of the teepee, round to the nearest tenth. Well, lateral area, going back to our previous page, is pi r l. Substitute in the 5 for radius, the 12 for slant height, and round to the nearest tenth, and you get 188 and 5 tenths square feet. And so do we truly got it? Ralph bought party hats, woohoo, that were in the shape of a cone. Each hat has a diameter of 8 inches and a slant height of 11 inches. Find the lateral area of one hat, round to the nearest tenth. And again, this is where we have to pay attention to our reading. The diameter is 8 inches, which means we have a radius of 4 inches. Really important as we solve this question. We're looking for the lateral area, so L A equals pi times the radius times the slant height. So again, 3.14 times my radius 4 times my slant height 11. Multiply the three numbers together and we get 138 and 16 hundredths. And when I look to round to the nearest tenth, the 6 is going to round the 1 up. So 138 and 2 tenths inches squared. And that is it 
for this lesson on surface area of cones along with lateral area of cones. Good luck.